Alrighty, what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are all doing well. Look at that guy. <clears throat> I like being fun. I like being a grown child. And when if people ever see this room, if I ever let anybody see this room, they're just going to be like, you're like an 18 year old kid that's a senior in high school, dude. Like, what are you doing? I'm living life, man. I'm single. I'm like a grown child. I don't got responsibilities to say, well, I do got responsibilities, but not, I don't have a kid. I don't have a wife. I don't have none of that stuff. So just let me be my grown self, my grown child self. But the reason why I'm in my walk-in closet is because I just wanted to show people, especially younger guys and influencers that are on their come up a little lesson. Um, so for me, not this, this isn't a part of the lesson, but for me, I don't really care about possessions. The things that I like the most, I don't care about jewelry or none of that shit. I like clothing. I like making myself look nice and I like the clothing, the power of my word. All those things combined alone are enough to get you the places in life that you need to get. You don't need the fancy car already. You don't need that image. You don't need the watch. You don't need the ring. You don't need the sunglasses. Those things should come after. And this is just my approach. I'm not telling anybody this is scientifically proven. I'm just saying I have proved it for myself. And I've done some really cool shit and talked to some badass freaking women without having mad money in my pocket. And oftentimes I've even talked to women that make more money than me. So that being said, style is everything, man. How you move, how you speak, and how you wear your clothing is everything. And I have been so good at wearing my clothing and making it match with styles and in a way that other people don't do it. But one of the things I wanted to point out was if you look over here, uh, this is all, this section right here, this is all just Young LA tops. Now, a lot of these shirts, guys, are anywhere from, th like, this jersey is 50-some dollars, right? Shirts are anywhere from 30 to 50-plus dollars from Young LA. Everybody knows that. So, we're talking tons of money just in t-shirts, and I left a bunch of them at my mother's house in upstate New York, and then I got some packed right now, and then I got tops, too, or these get even more pricier. I got a Young LA coat right here. This guy, a sweater, boom. And this thing is really nice. Whew. So you just gotta be careful guys, when you're trying to get sponsored and you're a young athlete on your come up, take it from me. And if you already look really good and you've got a lean physique, a lot of these companies should already wanna come at you. It's just about getting that engagement on your posts and getting other younger guys who buy the brand and mess with the brand to fuck with you. So don't, what I'm saying is though, don't buy too much of the clothing and don't tag it and post too often. Be very careful how many times you tag for these brands because what ended up happening for me, at least I believe with Young LA is that I spent thousands of dollars on Young LA. I mean, look, I literally got freaking Young LA socks. They're a little dirty because they're white, but I'm just sitting right here showing you guys I got Young LA socks, see? Like I have this shit head to toe and I was like, man, I'm wearing this shit and representing it better than a lot of these people are. And I, you know, I'm not mad, I'm not spiteful, but it was ultimately free promotion for them. My ex, hate to bring it up, but had brought up a good point. She goes, have you ever thought that maybe they already know they won you over because you spend your money religiously on them? Ever Spending hundreds of dollars a month on Young LA last year for like, six months straight because that's how bad I wanted the brand I didn't know what else you know besides wearing them and tagging them and I did everything I thought that I could do and um you know it is what it is like I said I'm not mad but they ended up getting when I think about it they ended up I posted them every day every other day they got I basically was like I was an athlete to the people they didn't know the difference people used to ask me what my young LA code was man I never had a Young LA code. So many people used to ask me like way earlier last year, like, yo, what's your code for Young LA? I'm like, dude, I don't have a code. Why don't you go message them and say your boy needs a code? So I bought so much of them and posted them every day. So if you guys are young influencers on your come up and you're trying to get any brands, only do like a hard post of them on your, on your Instagram, like once or twice a month, man. And, um, Maybe in your stories. In your stories, you can actually do the at and then pull it off the screen with the cursor. So remember that going forward. But yeah, style is everything. Um, I even have a dresser in my room because all my shorts, socks, and boxers, and joggers are on this shelf. So they're all tucked and folded. It doesn't look the best, but I don't give a shit. I just moved here. And those are my sweaters, coats, and these are all tops and shirts, right? So I got stuff from Revive. 
get raw nutrition. See? These are my sponsored section right here. Then you got weight train. Got athleticity. Then you got other miscellaneous stuff. Dark sport. See dark sport. Uh, Alpha Elite. Alpha Elite. Gymshark. Gasp. Gasp. Uh, Jed North. And then there's all the young LA stuff. It's all my clothes. And my bridges. You want to see what my bridges are? Bridges are Lacoste. Even DC shoes. Love used to love skateboarding, guys. Uh, True Religion. Yeah, yeah. Your boy stepped his freaking goddamn game up. So, and the shoes. All right, I gotta show you some of the shoes. I'm not big on the shoe collections, and I like wearing my shoes. But let me show y'all. You know, you've seen these. These are the Dunk Highs. Uh, these are pretty. These were like three hundred dollars. I got those at flight. I got these at Flight Club in Miami. I drove there from Tampa to get just those shoes and back. Drive there and back for the shoes. Uh, these are just another pair, special pair of Dunk Highs that came out recently. These aren't even that much. These are like a buck fifty or buck thirty-five or something. These I special ordered from Flight Club. They were about a buck seventy-five, I believe. Uh, dunks. And I don't got all my shoes in here because some of them are in my trunk. But these are one of my favorite pairs I got, and I got these at Flower City uh kicks downtown rochester it's a big shoe store in my hometown where i'm from and these were like a buck 225 250 and it was mainly because of this material right here and just the rare colors uh i don't even a lot of these boxes are still empty because the shoes are out of but yeah thought i would just show you a couple of those things and um like I said, the rest of the shoes are in my trunk and then out there out front in the front room. I'm not, I wear most of all my shoes. There's very few pairs that I actually don't wear or restrict not wearing, but most of them I'll never wear to a park. I'll never wear outside. Like, did those filthy guys, <laughs> they don't look terrible, but you can tell they're dirty. They've gotten dirt on them and that's a really nice shoe. That shows you how much I care about my shoes. Like. I care about them, but I'm not like the super freak. Like maybe when I'm making more money and I have more shit going on, maybe I'll collect a few pairs that I never wear that cost a couple thousand, hundred dollars, whatever. But I'm on my way to the gym, guys. You saw my closet. You saw some of my temporarily home here because I only got five. I only had a six month lease. Six month lease. There's only five left, and I'm gonna be going to Atlanta. And uh, just life is bringing me everywhere. So I don't know. This isn't gonna be my home permanently without a doubt it's not going to it's just temporarily so i'm not even getting too much stuff set into this place it's my clothes my tv some furniture and that's it because i don't know where life is gonna bring me it could bring me to a baddie it could bring me to my own home it could i gotta i gotta day by day guys day by day the vision always becomes more clear so i don't know if i'm gonna might bring you guys in the gym with me i'm not sure i really didn't want to record today i said i was taking a rest day because it's a sunday and i'm sore as hell but anyways let's get to it oh the one thing i will say too gentlemen you know i'm always trying to say find a woman of quality find people that actually care about you and are genuine but the sunglasses the versaces any type of nicer sunglasses definitely will always make a pretty woman look finding the right pretty woman to look is the tricky part it's not hard to get a pretty woman once you secure the bag and got the swag and got the look and the walk and the talk that's easy getting attention from women is easy at that point what's difficult is if you're not some sellout freaking moron who just follows everybody and you actually have a code and you have morals and you stick to your word and your balls then you're gonna be really specific on what type of person you want in your life and that you get involved with. So be very careful. If you ever make more than over 100K or 150K, do not let people know exactly how much you make. Try not to be too flashy when you're with them in person. If you're trying to impress, then you gotta do it with your pocket. It's not the right person to be around. True story. Actually, I'm going to hold the true story for another time. It's time to go to the gym. Let's go. Oh, yeah. So since I'm at my car, I wanted to show you guys my other Jordans quick. I always keep a couple pairs here and then these. So I always have at least four or five pairs of Jordans on rotation in my car. 
and they're usually pairs that I don't mind getting dirtier except the white ones. Those only go to the gym or at places I'm trying to look fresh. So there you have it. All right, so I said I wasn't gonna train, but I trained anyway, so what can I say? I felt rested by 1 p.m. My shoulders feel good, and I just hit a really big PR on my shoulder. So who, who would have thought on my rest day I hit a PR? So uh, yeah, I'm not really recording workouts. I didn't plan on recording a video, and I didn't plan on going to the gym either way. But uh, as I was starting to make my video this morning, I was like, I gotta go to the gym, because I feel good. So here we are setting PRs on shoulders, and uh, yeah, I don't know what the rest of the day holds, but one of my stops so I wanted to include it in this video so people know my day-to-day -day process but Sunday this is a very chill day I'm not driving around doing a whole lot so y'all see it the closet and some gems on Instagram and marketing and promotion was the highlight of this video earlier on so just keep watching let's get it <laughs> So this is the outside of uh, Legacy Barbell, which is now Legend Barbell. And it's, you know, just rows and rows of bay doors and businesses like this. Like a lot of Texas is like this. They got so much square footage for the money that they spend here. It's like three to four times what you're gonna get in New York or Florida or any other state. But you know, it was funny as I was saying, well, I, I can't remember what I said at the beginning of the YouTube video, but I said I wasn't gonna train and I just feel so good and my body is coming along, I'm getting muscular, I'm getting round, my chest is coming on, my back, everything. So, just killed it here, got a little flex on. And uh, yeah, like I said, I wasn't expecting to record in there and the music's really loud, so I can't really record much because I'm not gonna get paid for my videos, but I still record. Even if my videos get copyrighted, guys, I don't even give a shit. Like, I literally just do this to do this. Um, you know, if I was just doing it for money, I wouldn't be doing it at all because I would have been tired of not making money for the first year, year and a half I've been doing these things. But the YouTube is just simply, I've never put the time and energy into it. And when you see all the other people that are successful, yes. So like for now, people are going to get to know me and what I say honestly about my personality and my experiences. And then, you know, hopefully this develops into something much bigger. So time is time. That's all it takes is time. And uh, I'm starting to get jacked. This is all leading up to something, regardless of YouTube, I promise you guys. And uh, all I'm gonna say is that first big initial thing that I'm doing that's gonna help grow my name and take me to the next level is coming this May. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys enjoy the video of me talking all my nonsense and showing you my closet. Please subscribe. Please subscribe to the damn channel.